What's up everybody? Viper here, and today we're back in Imperium Galactic Survival. Uh, when I was editing the video, I noticed it was uh, one of the settings that I probably should have changed. Uh, but you can go back and change the difficulty settings when you're restarting your game. You just go to your whichever save it is, and you go to uh, difficulty. And this is the one I wanted to change. I've already changed it, but it was on true before. And it's auto miner depletion. If you have it on true, it'll mine that ore node out and completely get rid of it. If you have it on false, it should basically have an endless supply of material. And I just kind of like having that way. Alright, once you change difficulty, you just go into a regular load game. And we're back in the game. I went ahead and mined a bunch of ore nodes off camera and went ahead and built all the parts I needed for this hover vessel just because it does take a while and uh, I'll show you how I actually did it but I'm not going to do it. I've already done it. I moved all my stuff inside as well because these little those little bugs that stun you kept on buckling me so I just cut a hole here and then uh, stuck them on the ground. They have to be on the ground to be able to put them in there. So, But I have the hover vessel starter, the ground repulsor engine, cockpits, generator, and a fuel tank. Well, I'm going to need one fuel at least. But to make those, the starter vessel or vessel starter is right here under uh, building blocks and then if you push this placeable hover vessels on the far right top right the little blue icon it'll let you sort the stuff based off the hover vessel or you can do the the small vessel or cv or base or everything that way you won't build a wrong part if you're trying to build a certain thing and then you have the cockpit ground repulsors the generator and fuel tank and an O2 tank and a lot of those stuff you'll unlock once you actually spend uh, points to unlock it so I'm gonna go outside and then I'm gonna build this uh, hover vessel and I'm just gonna build it just the way the uh, the tutorial basically tells you how to build it or says to build it and I'm going to put all this stuff in my hotbar. First thing you're going to have to do is put down your uh, starter vessel. And it'll just drop on the ground. And then I'm going to go ahead and put these repulsors. Just to, It's just going to be a basic hover vessel. You're not going to be able to do a whole lot with it until you add on and change it up. But I'm just going to shove it together it's not gonna be pretty and to change stuff you got you can change the axis to, to rotate it and then you can actually rotate it on that axis so right now this thing should fly uh, once I put some fuel in it. And this is it's not going to give me much fuel. But I'm just doing the uh, to the power of the vessel. So I can get this part done and then uh, work on the rest of the tutorial. And then for me it's the Y button will turn it on. And then Y will turn it off. Let's go... And then you can switch to first person or third person. I got to remember the controls to zoom out, but you can zoom out. All right, so now we have to mine iron ore, copper ore, and silicone. Let me go see if I got any other stuff to make fuel. Uh, 
Uh, I can make five more fuel. Oh, we got to turn this off up here on the far right. Just turn it off to to everything. It's going to take me a while to remember which one, what goes where. It's just been too many games lately. One thing I do when, when stuff is constructing is just kill stuff. If there's stuff around to kill, I'll kill it. Just because it gives you the XP. And I'll save my bullets for something a little bit more complicated. These little bugs and the spiders, you can kill them just fine with your little basic tool. Until you get more resources to, you know, just be able to waste a bunch of ammo. And here's some spiders. Just don't want them to bite you and just kite them. And they'll just run away from you. And then I chase them down and keep shooting them. Just try to stay moving with the spiders. I want to try to bite me. No, you don't. Come back here. And they do have uh, weather here, and it, you can get cold, and um, you can get radiation from certain events and certain places you go. So you definitely want to be careful of uh, when it tells you you're too cold or too hot or... What the hell? How do you get in here? And with this thing, you don't have to worry about tearing up your base. Unless I switch it to uh, salvage, is when I got to work. Oh, there's a big old hole here. I wonder how they got in here. All right, is this thing done? These things are also good early on for storage, and they really don't cost uh, much to make these survival constructors. And then you can pick them up. Put them back down. All right, a couple more. I really would like to build a uh, chainsaw and stuff now, but I'm just going to go ahead and stick to the tutorial right now. All right, animals, where are you at? There's some of those little fuckers. These guys really annoy me when I'm trying to build something and then. They just start hitting me while I'm in the other menu. And if you pause the game, it's still going, so you can still get hit. So if you got to do something, roll away from the computer or something, make sure you're somewhere semi-safe. Like inside a building or on top of something high. Ah, collect ore. I need to collect this. Resource drill. All right, that gas should be done. So I'm going to go back, grab that, and then get my hover vessel. And uh, see if I can't find this ore nodes pretty quick. All right, I think it's dark time. So let me put my tent out and just sleep for the night. Come up to daytime. Grab what little fuel I have. Actually, I'm going to save one of these. So when I have a chainsaw, I'll be able to actually be able to fuel it. So my little hover vessel will get five fuel total. Which should last this thing a decent amount of time because there's nothing on it. I don't want to get in a fight in this thing because there's no weapons on it. But I just want to go look for... Uh, ore nodes and stuff. I'm gonna go hit up these deposits here. That'll make it quicker and I'll show you what those are. If you go to your map and then uh, you right click on a on a place it'll give you this waypoint and you can remove on approach 
or just make it a waypoint. If you take off remove on approach, then uh, it'll stay there. If you put remove on or approach, it'll it'll disappear when you go by it. All right, so I'm gonna go to these iron deposits. And if you look on the right-hand side of the ship, it tells you, uh, oh, don't flip, don't flip. How much, uh, on the power left, it tells you how long you have till the, the power will drain. So I got 183 minutes. Did I just pass it? Yes, I did. It's in the ground, so you gotta kinda pay attention. I was not paying attention at all. Alright, 160 meters. I'm just gonna turn my thing off. Get out. Get out my resource drill. Actually, I'm gonna come a little closer. Because I'm gonna stand on top of it. And I'm going to use my uh, drone. I got to make sure that uh, this drone will actually uh, pick this stuff up. It used to, but I'm not sure if it still does. So, All right, there's the iron. You can see the bluish rust color all right got enough let's go on to the uh, the other area hit Y to turn my thing back on no 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 It's a whole lot faster than the bike. All right, why? Get get out. Use my. Oh, what happened? All right, we're just gonna go straight down into it. Copper should be green if I remember right. All right, now we're getting copper. Or one more. All right, we got our copper. And then now we gotta need silicone. Good enough. I thought there was a oh, there's spiders around. Get away. All right, I'm dead. I should be good and safe enough up here, so. And down we go. I'll eventually mine out all of these resources. Probably by hand. Because um, I'm going to end up picking up a ship from the... Uh, and there the silicone is uh, white. Grayish color. But I'm going to end up bringing in one of the vehicles from the, the workshop. or That's pre-made. All right, so we're done with that. Craft a chainsaw, finally. 
I need that chainsaw before all my fuel runs out. I don't like to build actually my base until uh, I have plenty of stuff, plenty of resources and a way to defend it. Because once you start building uh, parts of your base, that's when drones will start attacking you. I'll go through the tutorial and just build the basic one. Just to give the drone somewhere to attack first off. The tutorial one is more like a decoy base for the most part. Or at least that's what I use it for. Alright, so we got to craft a chainsaw. That'll be under tools. And here we go making that. We should have quite a bit of resources for a little while. At least to finish this tutorial. I'm going to need that fuel. Alright, now we got to harvest some wood. I still like doing the tutorial, even if, you know, I had just do a fresh restart from playing for a while. Just because it gives you extra, extra upgrade points. Uh, so it's kind of beneficial to do it. So I'm going to burn up all this fuel that I have and collect as much wood as I can. Alright, we're out of, out of this. Let's go ahead and start some fuel up. Then I'll sit around and let that get done. I'm going to split this into two. Just tell it to make as many as it can. And then I'm going to save this for if I need construction stuff. Then I'm going to go out and cut some more trees down. And I'll bring you back when I'm done with that. Alright, i got a bunch of wood now. I went ahead and used uh, two uh, gas cans on my chainsaw. So I'm going to go in here and I'm, I need to make a base starter. I already have one. So I'll be able to use that later for my second base. So I'm going to go into here and make the base starter. And then also I need to make uh, 20 wooden blocks. So I got that started and I'll bring you back when it's done. Alright, we got our base starter done and our 20 wooden blocks. I'm going to go ahead and take that and we're going to go uh, find a little area, a little bit of way. Um, just because until I move my base, I'd rather not deal with uh, the drones. So I'm just going to go... I'm going to go north. Because I'm probably going to go build my actual base in the southwest near that water. And I've had these the drone attacks start as soon as I place down my core and then... Sometimes I've had it start way later, and it really depends, I guess, how close you're built to the actual drone base where they attack from. But you're not, you're not going to know that unless you search the whole planet out and find it. So I just try to avoid this completely and uh, just build a starter base as a as like a decoy. And then I'll actually dig it sort of in the ground, but it doesn't really matter for this starter base because I'm not going to be anywhere around it. I'm just going to put it here. Then I'll put stuff around it. Alright, now we got to put 10 blocks around it. If you hold down the button after you place the first one, you can expand it over. And if you right click, just like the other ones, you can change to uh, uh, different types of walls.
but they'll have different uh, HP. Like I'm gonna build that one, and I'm gonna build one of these half walls. And then if I go to uh, my tool and hit salvage, you can see how many hit points it has. It ha this one has 62, where this one has 100 for a full block. So just be aware that each of the different uh, the half walls or whatever, they have different hit points. So for the most part, unless it's just for uh, decorations or something, I'll use uh, full blocks. Especially where uh, I might get actually attacked. I'm, I never use wood, so I'm going to go ahead and just use all this crap and just in case this and uh, wood just to get rid of them. All right, that's got rid of all of them. All right, now craft a small generator. Oh no, did I get stuck in here? And I'll savage my way out. All right, let me go back to my base, craft a generator. All right, now we're back. I'm gonna make a small generator. So I need to go into uh, my blueprint screen and then go to uh, base and then I'm gonna look for a small generator. And I unlocked it. Go back into crafting. Small generator. All right, we'll be right back. Congratulations, you've completed the chapter. Is that all of the uh, tutorial? That is all of it. All right, so that is the basic tutorial. Now we're going to end up going into the solo missions. The human remains, ancient re revelations. And eventually we'll get all of these other ones. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video here. And then off camera, I'm going to go ahead and dig out my my starting base. And then, because uh, that's going to take quite a bit of time to dig all that stuff out. I don't need to be doing that on camera. I might take some snippets or whatever, but we'll bring you back in in a couple days and uh, go over some other base building stuff and see how this uh, playthrough progresses. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you all later.